Hello guys, welcome back to the Tech Diaries. Today again, as usual, we'll be unboxing a product that I think will be of great value for money in a range that it is suitable for the uses that it will come in. So today we have got a laptop from Asus, which I think will be a great uh, go-getter in the range of under 60,000 uh, for video editing and medium level gaming where you can play even the latest titles on medium settings, not very high settings. So without further ado, let's get on with it and do watch till the end for the pros and cons of the laptop itself. This is a product that was released around two months ago and we get a laptop back with it. Basically this is a product from Asus and the model number if you can see is R558U. So this cost me around 56,000 rupees or if you go into dollar terms it's around 800 dollars going on not 800 maybe 700 dollars but in india the laptops and uh, electronics are basically more expensive the specs with which it comes with in other companies is was available for upward of 70,000 or almost thousand dollars this is the only product who has got a price cut and that's why i would consider it a good buy and my previous ASUS, uh, experience with ASUS has been good, so I would say this is a good buy for me. So let's get on with the unboxing. So the specs are given over here. It is a 15.6 full HD. Uh, it has got a 2 GB graphics card. It's got a Intel i7-7500U and 8 GB of RAM and 1 TB of hard drive. So and it's got a USB-C which I have not seen in any other uh, laptop of any other company so let's get on with it so first thing inside the box is a cardboard boxing fixing and the laptop itself is covered in a poly, uh, cloth a fiber cloth so let's get the laptop out of the way first and let's see what else we get so we get the bill invoice we get a cd for setting up and installing the drivers so thankfully the laptop has a cd drive we get a user manual quick start guide and we get a instruction how to install your own os so this does not come with a windows operator we get a power brick which is surprisingly very good quality very well built and i expected that from asus so because i have bought products from them earlier okay so it's a 240 volt 50 to 60 hz 1.5 ampere adapter and the build quality is excellent and there's a socket to attach the wire over here with the AC supply and this is that wire. So the wire itself is of very good build quality. Let's get this open and see. This wire itself is very good quality. The adapter also is very good quality. As expected from Asus, they have built everything, all the accessories well built. So there is nothing else in the box, so we get the box aside. Now coming to the laptop, let's get the laptop out of this protective cloth. The laptop itself seems premium in build, but it is made of plastic and not aluminium. Uh, but I wouldn't complain because the finish is very good. Inside we have the keyboard cover and we get that aside. The build quality of the keyboard itself is also very good there's no flex in the keyboard the screen moves a little bit if you pick it up and there's a little bit of flex in the screen also because it's pretty thin the whole laptop if you see is pretty thin compared to uh, what specs it puts in so we'll see the connectivity uh, connectivity ports that were given to us there's a SD card slot, there's a headphone jack, there's a USB 3. All the uh, USBs on this laptop is USB 3. And 
this is all on the right side and we have got a cd drive i said thankfully for that we have got a cd drive on the left hand we have got a thunder uh, lock a port a thunderbolt c or usb c as you call it another usb 3 port hdmi a vga cable and an ethernet cable and this is the power input then. on the back we have got nothing and on the front again it's clean completely clean there's a embedded asus logo on the top which seems premium the whole laptop feels completely premium and this is the coffee brown color so and uh, we have the brown color on the base and brown color on the top uh, the screen has big bezels there's a camera over here which is a hd camera the screen itself is a full hd screen so if we started off <coughs> till it starts off let's talk about the keyboard the keyboard is well laid out it's not cramped in any manner you can get both hands to properly have space to work with each other the boot up time is very good uh, we have got a numeric keypad also and we have got all the specifications written on the base itself so the cpu if we zoom in so cpu uh, information the gpu information all the information is given on the base itself now another thing about the laptop is its sound quality it has got i'll be reviewing the sound quality and the whole laptop on the whole but the laptop has got bno sound system and it has also got a full hd anti glare screen so it's a very good we it's not touch enabled but uh, overall the screen is very good the viewing angles if i so the viewing angles on this laptop are good the anti glare works very well and if you can see the viewing angles are pretty nice the color reproduction is also good i'll have to test the brightness in my review and i'll be getting back to you on the brightness uh, so overall for 56000 bucks we get 8 gb of ram 1 tb of hard disk 2 gb of 940mx graphics card an i7 processor 7500u and full hd screen with anti glare USB C, uh, USB C type connection, so that's a little bit of future proof, and lot of other things which I would was not able to find in any other company's laptop for this price range. Now that we have unboxed the whole laptop, let's talk about the pros and cons of the laptop. Going on with the cons, so that you know know better that uh, whether you should buy the laptop or not. So the first one is that it has not got a backlight uh, keyboard, neither does it, does it have LED notifications for caps lock or num lock. So these are the two things that are bad about the keyboard itself or, or the laptop as a whole. Uh, second is that the RAM, it has got 8GB in build but you can only upgrade it to 12GB. Third is that the build quality is plasticky, it does look premium but doesn't feel premium it has got a little bit of flex to the screen no flex on the keyboard though thirdly the screen viewing angles could have been better it is above average but it still could have been better than what it is right now fourth i would have liked more usb 3 ports but these are enough so i wouldn't call it a con or a pro about the pros we are talking about laptops under 60,000. Even though the viewing angles could have been better, I think that the whole, the full HD screen and the color reproduction is good. Uh, the second pro of the laptop is that the combination of the i7 processor with the 940MX is an ideal combination. i5 processors is not i5 processors would not be able to completely use the 940MX. Anything lower GPU for a i7 processor would not be able to use the CPU best. So I third row of the device is that the USB-C connectivity and overall connection ports. You won't find any other laptop with a USB-C type port in this range. Overall, thinking about it, the laptop itself is complete value for money. The price 
compared to the specifications it drops in the ASUS R558U drops in are actually much better than what other companies offer you. It's like this is the Xiaomi of mobile phones. So, but the thing is that the implementation of the software as well as the working and the warranty is good in ASUS. Uh, ASUS provides a two year global warranty on the batteries and accessories itself. So even I would consider even that a pro. So this is all about the pros and cons about the laptop and I think I hope you like the video and if you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and have a great day. Thank you for watching.